Hello, Scorpio viewers. I'm going to look into your situation, what your person is thinking, feeling, wanting, what action they might be taking towards you over the next couple weeks or so. I'm just going to see what the story is, just see how the cards play out. Usually the cards just kind of decide what they want to tell us. <laughs> Even if I ask certain questions, I'll just they, my guys will just come through and say what they want to say. So, <laughs> But um, yeah, let's see. What can we get? Please be clear and direct. So for the Scorpios that have been led to this video, what is the story? What's going on with their love life? Please be, the messages be very clear, very direct, very to the point. Let them be easy to interpret. So then, oh, seven of pentacles, five, oh, come on, <laughs> five of pentacles reversed, page of pentacles, five of cups, queen of wands, two of pentacles, that's interesting, lots of choices to be made here, uh, the star and then the two of swords, all right, Let's see here. So with the five pentacles reversed, I feel like it's saying you're you're coming out of poverty for one thing. There could be, or it could be just a, a phase of of anxiety or isolation, uh, loneliness. Could be also financial struggle. I feel like with the page of pentacles here, it's like you're you're kind of creating your life to be what you want it to be. You're focusing on you're you're putting all of your intention on. On getting out of that five of pentacles energy and it's it's working for you looks like there's going to be something you might have to let go of in order to make that happen though with the five of cups you see the mermaid here she's watching this ship sail away but she's not really going after it she's just letting it fade away from her she's she's realizing it's for the best so there might be some sacrifices that have to be made um, if, if there's, you know, a toxic person holding you back or someone borrowing money from you, it's like you might have to cut that person out. They might not stop using you and they might just keep it up. Um, it feels like you're putting yourself first here, you know, uh, which is a good thing. But it's like with the Seven of Pentacles, it's like your your hard work, your perseverance, your your patience, your, you know, this long-term view. It's like you see the Seven of Pentacles here. It's like this person is blood for everything that they have. They're very independent. They're very self-sufficient. It's like they've worked hard for this, whatever this is, whether it's school or career or just it could be even a relationship, whatever it is, it's like you've worked hard for something um, and that's that strength is getting you through this, whatever it was, whether it was anxiety or it was financial problems, you're coming out of that energy now because of your, your strength and your perseverance and you're, you're achieving your dreams and you're making your life what you want it to be. There might be, again, there might be some sacrifice though with the five of cups or it'd be something that you're going to have to let go of, uh, to make this happen like you might have to maybe like a move or something like you got to move to make this happen like if you've got a job offer in another state or something like that um could also be that you're building your confidence and you're you're really focusing on yourself and there might be selfish people around you that kind of wanted to drag you down or kind of just like attention needy narcissistic victim types around you that just want all your attention or want all your energy like psychic vampire types and you gotta let those people go you know let, let the users go you gotta let the narcissist go in order to have this abundance that you want you know um it's like if you're building your confidence, there might be like jealous, insecure, bitter people that just want to drag you back down with them or want all your attention. They want to drain you. And so you're letting those people go and focusing on your abundance. And you do, you're, you know, you're successful. You're coming, you're, you're going to be successful, I feel. With the Queen of Wands, this person is, you know, you're charismatic, you're charming, you're beautiful, you're elegant. Like, look at her. Look how powerful and strong and confident she is. That's the energy you're coming into. You're coming into this Queen of Wands energy. Um... There's a balance though, because I see, okay, because I know last reading we did, I got that there was an ex coming back around, and this was somebody that you had a very deep and but chaotic history with. It was like, it was a deep relationship, but it was like, it was messy, like there were, I don't know if there were arguments or miscommunication, it was like, 
reminds me of what is that song love the way you lie it kind of reminds me of that kind of energy almost it's like it was just like it's a very codependent very intense relationship um there's a lot of passion there I feel so there's some really good aspects of the relationship but I'm kind of wondering if this is partially referencing that relationship I mean, it makes sense because there's a strong need in this in this spread for balance and a lack of balance. Um, having to juggle duties, having to juggle between like work and love or school and love or like juggling your your own hobbies and your own goals with, with this relationship. Could also be vice versa. It could be this other person that's having a hard time juggling. Um, they're wanting this connection, but they're also wanting, they also have a lot going on in their lives. So they're trying to fig figure out how to make room in their life for this connection. Because this was, I think this was a very codependent relationship in the past. It was a very intense relationship. It required a lot of attention. And so with it coming back around, I think that one or both of you are aware that like, you're going to have to find a balance this time around. Otherwise it's going to, you know, like you're, you're, you have more Either you have more going on in your life than you did last time you were with this person or they have more going on in their life than they did last time you guys were together. Someone just has more on their plate now. And so whether that's you or them, whoever it is that has more on their plate, they're struggling to find that balance and give this relationship a lot of attention. So it's almost like if you guys do decide to try to make this relationship work, you have to do it differently because it's not going to you're not in the same mentality that you guys were in before. You have more going on in your lives than you did before. Um, and you're less codependent than you were before. So there's just like, it's going to have to be like a different energy. And I feel like some someone might not like that. Someone might want, there might be some struggle here because there might be somebody that wants it to be just how it was before. They want your undivided attention. They don't want you to go to work. They don't want you to, um, or they don't want you to focus on work. They don't want you to focus on your pursuits. They don't want you to focus on your hobbies. They want you to focus on them. They want it to be all about them. This person is very attention needy, which again, could be you or it could be them. However, the energy plays out, you, you know, you know what your story is, but, um, but yeah, there's just somebody that's just wanting a lot of attention and they're wanting things to be just how they were before, but it's like, you've, the, either you or they someone has grown and matured and so they're like you know I, I do want to make this relationship a priority in my life I do want true love I do want to focus on this relationship I do want to heal this relationship I do want to work on communication but I also have my career now or I have my hobbies now or I have this new these new skills that I'm pursuing and I want to give some attention to that too I want to you know find a good healthy balance between um my own pursuits and my own hobbies and my own career and this relationship. Like, yes, the relationship will be a priority, but I'm also, I'm not as codependent as I was. I'm not just going to, you know, not work and just give you my, you know what I mean? Like this person is just, I don't know. It's just that kind of energy. It's just like an attention needy kind of energy. Um, so you guys are going to have that struggle trying to find a good balance, I think. Because you're both one person's wanting to go back to the past, to how it used to be. And then the other person is wanting to re renew this relationship and make it something different. You know, different energy, different ways of communicating, different ways of doing and thinking and being and feeling in this relationship. So one person's stuck in the past, one person's in the future. You guys got to find a way to get in the middle, right in the center, right in the, the present moment. <laughs> Um, yeah, two of pentacles, again, just having difficulty balancing, having a dif having difficulty with this. The, oh, okay. Sure, why not? <laughs> um, you know, again, two of swords, more choices to be made. Lots of, lots of really important choices, lots of important discussions coming up. The star, I think, is like your hopes and dreams for the relationship, but it's also the seeds you've planted. Like you've worked hard and bled for everything that you have. You know, you've worked hard to become this new person. And so it's almost like this person comes in, but they want you to be the same person you used to be. And they're not liking that you've changed. Like they're they're proud of you for changing and they're they're some part of them is turned on by it, but they're intimidated by it, I feel. Like they're still insecure. And so 
seeing that you've like bettered your life without them and that you've made all these life changes, it's like it's intimidating for them. Like they want it to go back to how it used to be. I feel like for some of you, you guys used to just like not do anything. Like you just kind of like you didn't really go on dates. You just kind of hung out at home like all the time. And I think they like they miss that because it was comfortable. You know, it was comfortable to just like be at home all the time to just have that like have that person you can just be in sweatpants with and just be comfortable and not have to. You know what I mean? But it's like you, you've kind of you've changed like you want that you and you still want that. I think you still like that. But you also like have more energy now. So it's like you also want to go out and like do fun things and you want to like experience life and travel and do more things than you used to want to do. Um, and this again, this person is just they feel insecure. They feel like like, wow, this person really better themselves in the time that we've been apart. They've really changed their life in the time that we've been apart. They're really different now. They're really they're like they're having a hard time. They feel like they can't keep up with you. They feel like they can't match you now. Um, but you got to make sure that you stay strong in these life changes that you made and that you be your true self above all else. Don't let them. You guys need to find a balance. Like, don't let them drag you back to where you were before, where you're just completely codependent on them. Because that's what they want to do. They want to drag you back to being codependent on them. They want to be your everything. They want to be your entire world. They're kind of controlling. Like, they don't want you to be focusing on other things. They want you to focus on just them. They want it to just be you and them. Which can be romantic in some contexts, but in this context, it doesn't feel romantic. It feels more like... I don't know, it just feels like insecure and controlling kind of, you know? I mean, there's like, there's romantic aspects to it, I guess, where it's like, it's kind of like, okay, that's sweet. They just want it to be you and them. But at the same time, it's like, you've worked really hard to become the person you are. So you want to make sure you don't sacrifice that for them. You want to make sure that you you keep this genuine confidence that you've developed. You've kept this, you know, keep focusing on school, keep focusing on work or hobbies or whatever that energy is that you've been focusing on, you know, life skills um, could be like a psychic spiritual path that you've been focusing on, whatever it might be, keep focusing on that too and find a balance between that and this, this love that's coming back around. But if they, if they try to control you and chain you, you got to let them go. You know what I mean? Um, you, you can try to find a balance with them though, before letting them go, I think, like try to, you know, explain to them like, this is, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to keep pursuing this, but we, we can have Fridays where it's just me and you and we'll stay in bed all day together watching movies. But on Saturdays, I'm going to go out with my friends or on Saturdays, I have this class that I go to and I'm going to keep doing that. And you're not going to stop me from doing that. You know, it's that kind of balance where it's like, okay, let's have one day a week. That's just like our day, but you know, I'm going to keep pursuing what the things that I'm pursuing. So you want to make sure you don't lose yourself to this connection because this person, you've grown and matured and changed. This person hasn't really. This person, I mean, not a lot. They're still insecure. They're still timid and afraid. They're still controlling. They're still, they're, I think they're, I don't want to say that they're a bad person. I want to say maybe that they're like damaged. And so it's like, maybe they have some depression and things that they haven't worked through. And so it's kind of like going out in the world is, is overwhelming for them. And so they like just staying at home. Um, but you're more like more adventurous than they are. So it's like, you guys really do have to find that healthy balance, you know, like you can't just make excuses for them at a certain point. They really do need to make some effort you know you guys got to meet each other halfway you guys have to find compromises in this connection and you have to again just make sure you don't lose yourself in this connection um i mean make sure that you don't let them let don't drag them let, don't, don't let them drag you back to where you used to be or where they want you to be you know what i mean like find kind of like one person in the past one person in the future you got to find that balance that that healthy medium what else can we say about this relationship what else do we need to know The Tower, the Knight of Wands, the Emperor reversed, Ten of Wands reversed, oh, the Lovers, okay. It's pretty good energy, actually. It's not bad. It's not bad. I think it's just more emphasis on what we just got on the last spread with the Tower and the Knight of Wands here. You know, Knight of Wands, it's like, look at her. She's like, it's passion, it's fire, it's, it's fast-moving energy. The Tower is fast-moving energy, too. 
you know, I think with the tower, it's like it's saying you're strong. Like you're going to, you're not going to let this person like drag you back to where you were, you know, with the tower, it's like you're going to shake everything up. Like if this person tries to control you, you're going to shake things up and it's going to be chaotic and there's going to be arguments. So that's why you guys got to find this balance early on, you know, so that you don't have those those fights because you guys are kind of on two different pages right now it seems like um you know with the emperor here it's like the emperor upright i would take that as like that's like controlling energy that's like stagnant kind of energy sometimes and ten of wands it's like this person um upright that would be like this person putting a lot of pressure on you putting um like wanting to go through your phone wanting to just control it, it just sounds like this insecure energy from this person it's like they just they're maybe like socially awkward, shy. They don't like new people. They're like afraid of meeting new people um, and you're more outgoing. And so I think you had problems with that in the past because it's like you want to be more social and they just want to like hide from the world. Um, and you guys could not find a balance. And I think that kind of had made issues for you guys in the past. Um, and Ten of Wands, yeah. So upright, that would be like just them putting a lot of pressure on you, them not having a life outside of you. And so they want to be your entire life. Um, because they don't have their own hobbies or careers and they don't have or their own whatever. They don't they're not focused on the things they love. They're just focused on you. And so they want you to be that same way. But um, with it being reversed, it's like you're saying no. With the Tower and the Knight of Wands, you have this new since the last time you guys were together, you've changed. You know, you're you're confident, you're fiery, you're passionate. You know who you are now. You know you know what you want. You found yourself outside of that relationship. You, you know, you, you just reclaimed yourself. You have all this, this strength and courage and passion and just this love for life now. And you need to hold on to that above all else, even if it means you have to let this relationship go. Um, and with the tower, it's like you're, you, it seems like you're not willing to let to change for this person. So it's good. It's like if they, because these are upside down, you know what I mean? Like this, this controlling stagnant energy, this trying to put pressure on you, trying to guilt trip you, trying to manipulate you, trying to drag you down to their level. These are upside down. So it's like, no, you're not doing that anymore. You're not doing the emperor or the ten of wands energy with this person ever again. It's upside down. If they try to put you back in that energy, you're going to come through with the tower and the knight of wands and you're going to fuck shit up. You're going to, it's going to be chaos. It's going to be, you're going to be, you're going to set boundaries with them. You're going to be strong. So I, I like that energy. I think you are strong in yourself. You just have to stick with that. You have to stay true to yourself. Stay true to the life changes you made no matter what. Um, no matter what this person wants or says, stay true to who you really are. Make sure of that. Um, with the lovers, it's like you're in this masculine energy where see, you're, you're letting them know how it's going to be. Whether you're male or female, it doesn't matter. This is the energy that you're in. You're letting this person know, like, you're not going to fucking control me again. You're not going to, uh-uh. We're not going to do that again. It's going to be different. It's going to be a healthy relationship. It's going to be a new kind of relationship, or we're not going to do it. Um, you know, you see the strength and this confidence this person has. He's like, he's telling her how it is. He's like, no, nah, we're not, we're not doing that shit again. We're not doing that ever again. <laughs> where we're, it's going to be different this time or it's not going to happen, <laughs> basically. It's the kind of energy I get from this reading. Uh, and, you know, there is a lot of love there, but you might not want them. You might have outgrown them. You might be too mature for them now. You might have just outgrown them. You might want somebody who's on. I mean, you have this deep history and you have this connection and there is that familiarity and that comfortability with, with each other. You know, this is, this is probably a soulmate relationship or a twin flame relationship, but... At the same time, you might want somebody who's more outgoing and more passionate and more adventurous and more brave than this person, you know, because this energy that I get from the person, it's like they're, they're, they're scared, they're timid, they're shy, they're, they're uncomfortable in their own skin, they're uncomfortable being in the world, they just want to hide from everything, and that energy doesn't resonate with you anymore, it's, you've changed, you know what I mean, like you're, you're on a whole another level you're on a whole high vibrational level that this person is just not on they're still on a very lower vibrational level than you are um i do think that they're just damaged but i think it's are they going to heal their damage is the point you know what i mean like empaths always make that excuse like oh this person is just they're really a good person they're just damaged they've been through this and this and this in their childhood and this and it's like yes but like so have I, so have you, so is, so is everybody. And, you know, you choose whether you're going to be 
whether you're going to like just be, become an empathetic, decent person or whether you're going to let those traumas just make you bitter and horrible and distrusting of everybody. And it's, you know, it's important, like you're going to just trust sometimes, but it's like you have to find a good balance, you know, like you can't, it's like most people have been through a lot of childhood trauma, you know what I mean? I'm not saying that this person's experiences aren't valid, like they are valid, but they can't just treat people like shit and control people and drag people down to their level because of what they've been through in the past. You know, there's you got to not make excuses for them again. And other people in their life, like family, needs to stop making excuses for them too if they have been in the past. Like, there's there's no excuse. Like, what you've been through in the past, it's not an excuse to drag people down and to control people and to manipulate people. Um, at some point, like, this person needs to decide. Do they want to work on themselves? Do they want to get healing? Do, I mean, do they want to get counseling? Do they want to try to heal? Do they want to try to take responsibility for themselves and work on this relationship and have a healthy, stable relationship with you? Or do they want to stay small and timid and scared their entire lives? You know, they have to make that decision. Um, so just please don't make excuses for them. You know what I mean? Like, you can support them through their healing, but it still needs to be their decision to heal. They need to actually want to heal and want to better themselves and want to match you, want to match your energy. You know what I mean? Um, and if they can't, then you need somebody who's braver and stronger, definitely. So anyway, that's the energy I got. Uh, let me know if this resonates. And please, um, you know, if this does resonate, please comment below and, and subscribe. Thank you, guys. Oh, and if you want a private reading, my email is below too. Thanks.